I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. Today, we're reporting from the Northeast Cannabis Business Conference in Boston. This is the NCIA's conference, and the attendance, as you can see, has been pretty good. This was a shortened trading week with President's Day on Monday, so we only have a few stories to cover. Australis Capital terminated a proposed merger with Folium Equity Holding. Australis had sent some warning signs that the company might not move forward with this deal when some corporate meeting notes uh, surfaced on Google. The company suggested once it had more data on Folium, it decided against moving forward. Back in October, Gibraltar Industries purchased CO2 extraction company Apex Supercritical. They paid $12.55 million for this Ohio-based company that reported revenue through June of $17.7 million. Then at the end of last week, they said they were spending $50 million for the California-based extraction systems company called Delta Separations. Gibraltar said that that company generated 2019 revenue of $46 million. New Lake Capital Partners closed on its sale leaseback transactions with affiliates of Grassroots for six of the 10 properties that company has. They said they expect to close on the remaining four properties within the next 45 days. The cannabis testing and analytics firm Digipath reported a 26% increase in revenue to roughly $800,000 for the first quarter. That company also trimmed its first quarter net losses to $220,000 from $462,000 for the same time period in 2018. Saul Global Investments, uh, their portfolio company, CanCure Investments, entered into a definitive business combination agreement with Goldstream Minerals. That deal was previously announced in January. They're planning on doing a reverse takeover. This was really the next step that they had to take. Tilt Holdings appointed its interim CEO, Mark Scatterday, as the permanent CEO of the company. Tim Condor has been appointed as chief operating officer, adding the title of president. And finally, GL Brands uplisted to the OTC QB venture market. The ticker will remain GRLB. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchart, reporting for the Green Market Report from the Northeast Cannabis Business Conference in Boston.